two simple DIYs for you guys. Um, on the first one, all you will need is a pen or a marker, some scissors, photo frame of your choice and size, and then an image of your choice. Either you can use a gift box or you can print out a printer or even use gift bags like I have here. So first what we're going to do is take our picture frame and take it apart and you want to take this out. So you can either use this or your backing to trace out the image that you want to use. So I'm going to use this bag and I'm just going to center this. Hopefully I get a spot. Look at everything is filled. This should be okay. Look like this one is, you may not see the lines. You may you use a Sharpie or something of a different color that maybe show up. Like a chalkboard pen or something. But this should show up on the red and I should be able to see it. So I have my line. See, I could, yeah, I can see it. And then you want to go ahead and cut it out. Okay. So we have this cut out. So all we're gonna do is put it back in the frame. your back and just place that back down and there you go that came out so cute I wish I would have went down a little bit more so the antler won't be blocked, but like I said, I'm a perfectionist. You don't have to be perfect. How cute is that hanging up on your wall? Like, what you'll need is a glue gun, some scissors, some kind of decorations that you want to use. I have these. And I also have this one. Arrangements of flowers. Some ribbon of your choice. And then a little vase or candle holder of your choice. Okay. So first thing, what I'm going to do, the first thing you should do, I'm going to do this little one, is all you're going to need to do is pretty much glue the ribbon around the glass. And I'm going to do the whole, the whole glass and I'll be back just to save more time for video's sake and I'm just gonna put a dot there pull it around and put a dot like on each corner okay let me do that and I'll be back so I went ahead and put my little piece on like that 
And all I did was put, wrapped it twice around and then where um, it met, that's where I put the piece so you couldn't really see it. You can see it on the inside where I did that. And it don't have to be fully wrapped because this, you probably won't see this because of the floor arrangement that I'm going to put in there. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to use two of these and use the rest for the tall one that I'm going to do. Um, so you can either take your arrangements and you cut off the stems or you can fold it. But I think I'm going to, let's see if I can just fold it to make it easier. I'm going to have to cut through all this. Sorry, my phone's going off. Let's see. Yeah, so we can fold it. So just fold it twice. Probably have to fold it one more time. There we go. And just place it in there. You need to kind of spread it out and play with it however you want. And we'll do the same with this one. Let's fold it up. kind of play around with it Let's see if I can pull this in the middle of these yeah so just play around with it and then I kind of want this to sh block it and just arrange it however you would like that's cute so there you go guys, probably mess around with it a little more, but I don't want to make this video long. I got a pedal that fell off, we can just glue that back on. So this project cost me probably No more than five to six bucks. Um, everything's from the Dollar Tree except for the ribbon I got from Michaels. And I used a 50% off coupon, so it was like two or three dollars just for the ribbon. But everything else was found at the Dollar Tree. The other project was just two dollars for the frame and picture that we did. And that's, guys is my DIYs so thumbs up if you guys liked it and I will see you guys in my next video bye